Hey, what's going on, guys? Hope everybody's doing well. Sorry it took so long to get back with y'all, but just had a lot going on. But I started on the uh, tilt mechanisms and stuff and on the uh, Monte Carlo. Uh, what I've done is started mocking up the passenger side, and I'll explain it to you, but on the next video, I'll uh, actually show you how I'm doing it. But, uh, or actually performing the work. But, uh, I'll give you an idea of what I got going on. But you can see right here how I moved this factory brace into that fender. It used to bolt right here at the top, right here. But the fender top and the fender bottom is going to be separated. When I put my channel where where I cut my fender, I'll have my channel on both sides with some little dowel pins to hold it together and hold it in place down through this line. It'll have two pieces of channel butt welded in behind the steel and then or behind the panel. And then uh I'll have this little bracket that I made also at the back of it for a brace that'll bolt right in i still got to drill the hole and stuff in it but this is a little channel bracket i made and i shaped it out kind of an odd shape but i tried to get that contour and that fender shape so that i can take like i said i'm not cutting anything up on this car that can't be replaced and the parts that i'm cutting is already so rusty they're not really worth fixing so Whatever I cut up on it can be put back and replaced to original without nothing being butchered on this car. Just like this right here. This It needs fenders. The fenders is just rotted out really bad front, bottom, back. But uh, this brace will go on that, that lower hinge bolt. I don't know if you can see it right there. And then it'll come in. I'm just going to show you right here. This little part here will fit up in here like that to that I'll weld that into the fender and with the bottom two bolts after I uh, fix the bottom of the fender put a patch panel in it I already made some homemade for one side I think the other side actually but I'll show you how to do that in a future video but uh yeah this will bolt to the bottom bolt and the hinge and weld up to the bottom of the fender right there and when this is cut and separated, it'll have this channel behind it like this, sitting in there behind it. And this one will be the same way up top with dial pins to help guide them. And up here where the fender actually bolts, right here, it's got an 18th shim. I'll probably weld that shim to the bottom of the fender and cut these out. Or maybe I can move this from here to here and drill a hole through it oblong this hole just a little bit and push put a little push pin like a hairpin hood pin like through here and that'll be its locking me mechanism there and i'll slot this bottom bolt out right here on the bottom i'm gonna slot this as a guide just to go up and down on with a uh just like a regular little pin or something sticking out and uh do that and also, I'm going to have to cut these off right here on the fender. These little pieces here, the top bolt. Because this will hit the door with the door on it. And it won't allow the front fender to pull up. But I got this body bushing out. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see this very well. I hope you can see it. But I got the body bushing and all out. And I got me some plates made. And, uh... This is how we're going to go with it. And by doing it this way, see how the front end is all rusted out all around in here? All this needs to be replaced if it if it's ever restored. I don't know if I'll do it, but somebody might do it one day. And it's a nice car, and it's a valuable car, so I don't want to gut this car up. But see how rusted out it is? And my dad is, uh, like I said, this is his car and his... uh. 
dream was to make it into a race car and to have fun with it and i'm gonna try to do that because he's not doing well right now and i'm gonna try to do all i can to make him happy but this is the setup i'm gonna fasten this quarter inch plate that i got on the bottom here to the frame and this part of the hinge will be fastened to this part and this piece here is a part that'll hook to your uh, radiator support and right here where this bolt and this uh greasable fitting and all this got bushings in it, it's real nice and uh i got me a space plate up in there so to see the exact same thickness as the body bushing i took out this is the body bushing but it's all rotten and raggedy but uh yeah but I'll show more detail on this after I get it all figured out and everything. I just figured I'd give you an update and show you what was going on. But, uh, yeah, it's looking good. And, uh, hopefully, I'm hoping to, uh, uh, Lord be willing, maybe have this thing running and going by Christmas, I hope. With the front end tilting and everything, all the hood be functional and everything. And speaking of the hood, hold on one second, I'll be right back with you. I'll show you the hood. Okay, everybody. This is where we left off with it last time. And uh, I made these little pieces here, two of them, that I'm actually going to put on both sides of my line here. See my line? I don't know if you can see it, barely. I'm going to put them on both sides of my line. Actually, uh, I've got them rounded out so that they fit the body line. What I'll do is drill a couple holes in them and butt weld it to the hood like that. That way i got something to put the rest of the side of the hood scoop, the back part to, on both sides of it. Just like that. And this is what I came up with. I made this oh, let's see if I can get it but I made this all one piece so it's a little bit easier to work with I notched it and uh, got these little tabs here where I can weld it from underneath and I got two tabs at the front of it right here that I can actually uh, stick a little screw in or either butt weld to the hood itself too but this piece will fit in I'm going to have to set you down for just a second okay get this in here real quick All right, guys, and that'll fit in just like that, and it'll go back up into the windshield almost up to about two inches level up through here with the windshield coming up all up through here. But, uh, yeah, I just got to uh, drill these out, butt weld all this in, and I made the line here to match the factory line, so, uh, and I got a brace that i'm gonna put all the way across here in the center to actually kind of pick it up i don't know if you can see it but it'll pull it up see how it pulls it up to match the other piece when it's pulled up like that that's how it'll sit and then we'll start doing some body work and spraying it and stuff hopefully on the next video but uh stay with me i got a surprise for y'all Alright everybody, there it is, 454 is all refreshed and ready to go, he's uh, my dad built that thing in 1978, he rebuilt the engine, done a bunch of trick work to it himself, basically I cleaned everything up, he wanted me to leave the bottom end and the, everything alone. All I did was put seals, gaskets, all the way through it, super cleaned everything, nice, and 
and pretty and shiny and looks good. I hope he likes it. I'm still waiting on some adjustable rockers. The rockers that I got for it, I did not like. And I wouldn't recommend them to nobody. I, I ain't even going to say no name. And I don't want to put nothing bad out there. But, uh, but yeah, that's him. Once I get his uh, rocker arms, I'll go ahead and put the rest of the bow covers on it and everything. Get them stationary. I put little freeze plugs in those uh, nitrous fogger holes that's where the nitrous fogger system goes i just put little uh 14 millimeter freeze plugs in it they'll come out easy you can put a fogger system on it 30 minutes put a plate system whatever however you know what i'm saying i know y'all y'all know what i'm talking about <clears throat> y'all probably more familiar with that nitrous stuff than i am i hadn't uh messed with any nitrous in probably 20 years or more but, uh, got a bunch of friends that do, but to me, myself, I, I like that raw horsepower. <laughs> Naturally aspirated. But, yep, that's it, guys. I don't know if I'm going to keep those wires. That's the only, uh, wires that I have with the straight boot, because the wires that I ordered for it, uh, was supposed to be 45 angle boots but these are straight and they will work but the ones they sent was uh like 90s and they were just they wouldn't work they were just hitting the head and wouldn't go all the way on the plug right and just didn't wouldn't work so we'll leave these on it just long enough to get it running and try them out oh and and one more thing too uh i'm gonna show you hang on one second All right, guys, I'm back. This is the uh, short shaft 400 out of it. Um, it's pretty dang nasty. But the fluid and all is still good and red. Don't look burn or nothing. But uh, I'm thinking I may. I don't know if I want to try it or what. But I know it needs some serious cleaning. But the fluid looks good in it. And I'm hoping that I can... Uh, maybe take the pan off of it and inspect it and look at it and if nothing's messed up i might try it but if not i'll see what my dad wants to do if he wants to we'll go ahead and get a kit and stick in it and uh if y'all can leave me some comments down there what uh stall converter do y'all would y'all recommend for this thing this thing this car y'all know it's a pretty big heavy car full frame car and uh, even the hood scoop and all that still full metal. I mean, this car's all all rock hard. Uh, the only thing that may be fiberglass on it, I'm thinking about uh, making a homemade front bumper for it. Like use the old bumper as a, a, a mold, like a casting mold, and mold my own fiberglass bumper for it. But I will have it back on where you won't even see the hinges and stuff under it. But uh, it's got 488 gears under it. And uh, this 400 transmission and the 454. I'm thinking probably around a 4500 stall. But y'all let me know in the comments. And uh, guys, I sure do appreciate it. And uh, like I said, we'll get back to this thing and uh, see if we can't get him rocking and rolling here pretty soon. This is all kind of metal I'm fabricating and working with on the front end. But I appreciate it, everybody. Thanks a lot. Please like, share, subscribe. Give me that big thumbs up. Y'all have a good one. Peace out. Later.